I hope you guys got time to kill because I'm here to kick off my Empties Trilogy. Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom, back to share another video with you guys, and today we are talking empties. So it's been a really long time since I've shared any kind of empties video. I think the last time I shared one was around Christmas time. So I have been gathering all this trash since then, and needless to say, it is stacking up. So it is time to go over and review all the products I've used up over the last few months. So today we're gonna talk candles, and then later on this week I'm gonna share my household products, and then after that we'll get into my beauty products. Now I used to share candles and household products together, but during the cooler months, I go through a lot of candles. Now that it's getting warmer, my candles will start to slow down as far as my burn time, but during the cool months, I just kind of keep them going the whole day. So I have tons of candles to review with you guys, so I'm super excited. Let me take you down to the counter and I'll show you the candles that I've used over the last few months. Okay guys, so first up is the Blueberry Maple Pancake by Bath & Body Works. I was really excited to try this one. This was a gift from Madison. This was one of her favorites, and so she wanted me to try it, and I had never tried it. And this was absolutely amazing, probably one of my favorites. So the notes on this one say wild blueberries, griddle fresh pancakes, and warm maple syrup. If you like all those scents, like the sweet of the fruit and then like the very maple scent of the syrup and then like the sweet confection of what pancakes baking smells like, this was so good and so authentic and just like delicious. I can't explain it. It really was so good and it burned really well. Um, it's pretty clean on the inside. You can see by the lines of wax, like the length of times that I burned it. Usually it'll see, you'll see like when it stops, how many of times I've burned it the way through. But for the most part, it's pretty empty. And like I said, this one was definitely worth the buy. Probably one of my favorites up there. And it's hard to have a favorite because I'm a big scent person and I love all the Bath & Body Works scents, but this is definitely up there with one of my faves for sure. So another one by Bath & Body Works. This one is the Cherry Frost. So I got this one as a Christmas gift. I probably wouldn't have picked this for myself, but it was actually a lot better than I had anticipated. So on cold sniff, it just smelled very cherry to me. Now the notes on this one say made with orange and juniper essential oils with notes of white cherry and ginger. So there really isn't much to this besides the cherry, which like I said was pretty authentic, but I think sometimes cherry can come off like cough medicine. I guess that's how I was expecting it to burn like, but it really didn't. It had a nice sweet smell. I don't know if I would repurchase it again, but if I got it as a gift, I wouldn't return it. It wasn't one of my favorites, but it still the throw was really good. I have a huge open floor plan, so throw is big for me, but it burned really, really well. Um, you can see how clean it is on the inside. The wicks burned all the way down, and that is usually, if you see just that little quarter inch on the bottom, that pretty much means that you got a good Bath & Body Works candle. Now, if you do wax melts, a lot of people just break apart the bottom and save the extra pieces and use them as wax melts, which is a great way to utilize that last little quarter inch, especially since, you know, these candles retail for $24.50. So if you're not getting them on a good deal, obviously you want to reap the benefits of any little bit that's left. But definitely not a repurchase, but I would still recommend it as far as it being a good solid scent. Now here is one I would repurchase in a skinny minute. So this one is the White Caramel Cold Brew. I really love the packaging on this one. I like simple things sometimes, especially when I'm going to display it in my house and you just want that clean cut looking jar to display. I have a lot of pedestals and stuff in here that the candles sit on. So um, I really love the packaging on this one and the smell. OMG, like if you, this is the one of the best coffee ones. Right now I'm burning campsite coffee and that was really good. Some said it was too strong, but again, my floor plan is so open and huge with nine foot ceilings that things don't smell so overwhelmingly strong to me in here, but that smells like yes 
coffee on a campsite fire, but this just smells like the notes say. Cold brew coffee, sweet cream, and buttery caramel. So the caramel and the sweet cream just add this really nice sweet note to the scent of coffee. Absolutely delicious if you like that. Um, it did burn pretty clean on the inside, but one of the things I do notice about white based candles from Bath & Body Works is that they do create a little bit of residual soot in the candle color. So this was almost completely white and you can see now that it has like a very beigeish gray tone to it. And that's just the, you know, soot that's settled in there. But uh, it's hard to tell with the jar how much is left. Ah, you kind of can see the shadow that again, it's only that quarter inch, all the wicks burned all the way down. But this one is a definite purchase. Like go right now. Womp womp. All right, so this one was a complete dud, and I wanna see if I can find the lid to this because there isn't many notes on the bottom because this isn't a Bath & Body Works candle. So here is the lid to this one, and let me just tell you that even the lid still smells amazing, and the candle wax alone smells amazing. So this says Sweet Lemon Macaroon. Like I actually wanted to smell the lid again because this smelled so good and I absolutely couldn't wait to burn this. Now this was a gift from Madison. She had originally bought this for Vanessa when we were going to meet on our beach trip, but Vanessa was just preparing at that moment to begin to sell her house. So she was liquidating all of her major stock of candles. And so Madison didn't want to give her this big, huge one knowing that she was trying to cut down. And so again, there's no notes on this. It's just sweet macaroon, sweet lemon macaroon. And it's distributed by the NVP Group International. And I believe that she got this, she said it either Dollar General or Family Dollar, something like that. But it had zero, like there's no point in even taking the rest of the wax out of this and putting it in a wax warmer because it had zero throw, like zero. And that blew my mind because when you smell the wax and the lid, it smells so sweet and lemony and I literally was dying to burn this and it never stayed lit. I would try and try and try and relight this and even when it did finally light, you can see how bad it tunneled all the way down. I mean, this part of the candle never even got touched. That is exactly the candle. If you were looking in a jar, looking at that, you would think this candle is completely unburned until you flip it over. So definitely was really disappointed with this brand. Keep an eye out for this NVP Group International if you are shopping at you know Dollar General or Family Dollar, something like that, um, because this was very deceiving. You smell it and you're like, oh my goodness, I can't wait to burn it. And then you light it and this was probably the biggest dud. And I feel sad for Madison because she was excited to give it as a gift and to hope that someone would love it and sorry babe but this one was a dud this one however not a dud so this is the gingerbread candle from trader joe's so all of their candles come in these little tin cans they i believe are like 2.99 and you guys they burn completely empty do you see that there's nothing in there you can actually see the weight that holds the wick down because you can see all the way to the bottom there's just a little bit of like soot from the um wick breaking apart but there's literally nothing at the bottom of this so i am in love with these candles from Trader Joe's because their throw is great. Uh, not too strong for my nine foot ceilings down here, but it's only a one wick. So I usually put this in my bedroom or something. And my regular, my bedroom is just regular eight foot ceilings. It's a large room, but it's still, this can accommodate that. And I've burned a bunch of them of this style. The Honeycrisp Apple is amazing. Uh, the Evergreen one was really good. That might be in here too. So I really, really like them. If you shop at Trader Joe's, pick up a candle and try it. This one smelled straight up gingerbread, just really good. And I believe these ones are soy based they are they're soy based um with a fresh cotton wick of course they are they're trader joe's um so i really liked this i definitely would recommend um any of the candles if you get a chance to shop there now speaking of places that I love to shop. This is the Soy Blend Candles from the Dollar Tree. So this is actually Star Candle Company, which I usually don't have much success with, but these particular candles made me try them again, and I think it was because of the soy. So this one is Detox and Refresh, and there was a bunch of different ones in this like kind of jarred line, but look how good that burned. Again, you can see the weight because it burned all the way down to the bottom. For a white candle, it's still almost white. There's like no soot on the inside. Again, these don't have notes or anything, but this one 
had just a very crisp and clean. This came, all these ones came out during Christmas time and I really enjoyed this candle. Like I bought a bunch of them. I still have some uh, and I'm like almost don't want to use them because they're that good. So if you're in the DT and you see any of these jarred ones that have these kind of labels on them, scoop them because for a dollar, this was an excellent candle. So while we're on the topic of DT, let's dive into a few more DT ones. So this is an old Williamsburg. This is an autumn apricot. I actually have a couple of these still. I wouldn't trade them up because they're okay. Down here, again, in my big um, tall ceilings, it's a little difficult, but this one was almost a waste. You could see that half of the candle is still there, which that doesn't always happen. I mean, this side, again, all the way up the jar looks practically brand new. Um, um, it doesn't always happen to the old Williamsburg, but I found some of these mason jar ones lately have. Are you getting still your bang for your buck for the dollar? Yes, I guess that you are, but I like the ones with powerful throw. And this one, mm, it's okay. It smells like apricot, um, but I don't know if I would repurchase this one again, just because again, once I find one that has great throw, then that's it, like I'm sold. Um, I really think I should burn some of these smaller jarred candles again in my room like I do the Trader Joe's ones because I feel like I'll get more of a real true feeling for the smaller jars if they don't have the greatest throw and more in a smaller room, at least to give you guys more of a review. Um, but this one, you guys, okay, hold on, let it focus. This one is called Warm Flannel. I love the marbleization, very simple. Like I said, that Bath & Body Works cold brew candle. I really love that. Um, and this was by Star also, I wanna say, it was. And this one I did burn in my room and was amazing. It smelled very close to that flannel one from Bath & Body Works. So I feel like a lot of people, a lot of candle companies are trying to really hone in on the sense of Bath and Body Works and stuff because you can see like on candle day, the kind of crowd that Bath and Body Works brings in. So I feel like a lot of people are trying to steal like their recipes and sure, go ahead. If you can nail it and we can pay a dollar, then bring it on. So look how clean this one burned again. Same like that soy one from Star. So at least the Star candles, you can say, have a pretty good success of burning. You can see the weight all the way through. Again, a white candle that le left very little soot on the inside is um, definitely a five in my book because I can't stand soot. I actually have spots on my ceiling and in my vents that are have soot on them because I'm such a candle burner. So ones like this make me really happy. All right, let's dive into another candle that makes me really super happy, and that is the Maple Cinnamon Pancakes from Bath & Body Works. Do you see like a theme with this pancake thing? But they really have nailed that scent of pancake. Again, that confection, the cross between baking bread and baking cupcakes. Obviously, they have two different scents. One's sweet and one's more savory, but this is a combination of them both, and then you add in whatever kind of pancake it is, that maple and that cinnamon. And those all of those scents, in, they just mix so well. So the notes on this one are made with nutmeg essential oil, and it has notes of maple syrup and fluffy buttermilk pancake. And so the nutmeg is what brings that cinnamon cinnamon in and then you have the pancake and the maple syrup and the throw on this one was phenomenal and the burn on this one was pretty good I mean you could see one wick that went all the way down to the bottom which was great I mean there's very little wax there wow it's amazing how strong that, that is when you take the lid off I could still smell it um, this is definitely one I would break the wax apart and burn in a wax warmer because it was so good um, there is some black sooting on the inside you can see there but again I feel like that happens to the lighter candles so I try to put them in places that don't cause so much wall you know damage with that kind of nastiness but this one still was definitely a repurchase for me as well I grabbed a few more out of my bag. So let's do this peppermint bark. Now this one is Old Williamsburg and this one burned amazing like as far as inside you can see the weight completely clean a white candle with very little soot uh, I was I had really high hopes for this one because these are one of the cupcake ones which usually burn really well but uh, not impressed at all with this peppermint bark I love that scent around Christmas time but it just had very little throw so this definitely wasn't one of my favorites when it comes to this 
Uh, this one, however, was a little bit better. So this one is by Old Williamsburg as well, and this is the Berry Hibiscus Iced Tea. So I didn't get many from this iced tea line. This came out last year, late spring, early summer, and I didn't get many from there, but this Berry Hibiscus one was really good. You can see how that burned all the way down to the bottom. There's no wick. You can't see the weight, but I mean, there's very little wax there at the bottom, and it burns completely clean. This candle was very, very worth the dollar, so I, if I see any of these iced tea line ones I will pick them up again and try them because like I said that one was really good all right you guys this is my new favorite candle from Bath and Body Works it has been for about the last year or so and again I don't know if it has anything to do with the uh, lemon friends and being associated with a whole bunch of lemon in my life but this lemon jello is the most delectable smelling candle Bath & Body Works has ever put out. Uh, the notes on this one are bright lemon zest, Sorrento lemons, and cane sugar. You guys, it is just fresh and clean with this extra note of sugar that puts like a sparkle into the air. I can't even explain it, but when you walk into the room, it reminds me of a summer day when it's like 9,000 degrees and you're eating an Italian ice outside and it's this like shaved ice with that sweet lemon. I can't explain it, but this scent actually brings me back to childhood. It is one of the best smelling candles ever. I wouldn't even care how it burned. I would still keep buying it. Um, this one does burn pretty good. This candle isn't completely white. It has a yellow tinge to it, so there isn't too much soot on the bottom. You have your normal quarter inch, you know, there, and the wick's pretty much burned all the way down, but if this candle burned halfway, I would still spend, I would spend $24 on it, and I don't say that about any candle. I, like, go on candle day and wait online so I can pay my eight bucks, but this is like hands down, just one of the best. If you guys have tried it, comment down below, let me know. Tell me if it's something you'd wanna try if you haven't, but you guys, one of the best candles, like legit ever. So here's another one of those ones from the Dollar Tree in that same line by the Star Candle Company. Uh, that Soy Blend one, the last one was the Detox and Refresh. This one was Peace. I believe there was a Joy and something else. There might have been four of them. Um, again, there's no notes on them, but look how clean they burn. I mean, you could almost like, look how much you could see through that glass. I think that that's awesome. You can see the weight, like there's just very little at the bottom. And these ones had great throw, great sense. This piece one smelled a little bit more clean, not fresh laundry, but cotton, like maybe along those lines. It was still really good. I normally don't like that. Um, another one of the cupcake ones I was not impressed with. So this one was birthday cake. Uh, I actually picked up a couple of these because I was going to put them out when Vanessa was here and we were setting up her little birthday thing and I never did and I left one upstairs in my room and I just burned it and even in my room it was awful. Like completely clean white candle no soot all the way down very little wax there at the bottom but just no throw and normally these cupcake ones have been good but that one mm -mm. oh yeah here's that honey crisp apple i told you there was probably one of those in here right this one did not burn as good as you can see that gingerbread one did there's a little bit in there um and the the wax is still there a little bit but i can't even begin to tell you how sweet smelling this honey crisp apple was it literally it was like walking through an apple orchard when you walked into my room daryl made a comment and he usually doesn't comment about candles he's so used to them because i burn them so often but if he says like wow that's really good i know it's good because he never says anything like that and he really commented about this candle he said he really really liked it um this came out during the fall so i'm not anticipating it to come back out to trader joe's until the fall again but if you see it buy them out because this was really Really, really good and I definitely intend to do that um, next time and this one was eh, probably definitely not a repurchase and that uh, surprises me because it's coconut and I love coconut but this one was called coconut snowflake it's cooling peppermint fresh spearmint and coconut water which is weird that it says it's coconut snowflake because very little coconut in there very minty which normally wouldn't be a problem, but I don't think mint and coconut smell good together. So the faint of the coconut and this mint, eh, just definitely wasn't a fan. It did burn pretty clean though. This was a beige candle, so not a lot of soot, just your normal um, what's left on the bottom, um, but still, and I, the packaging was cute, just a little 
all the little woodland creatures like in the just the very faint silver so like i said i like the elegance of some of the ones that are just simple but mm, definitely not a fan wouldn't repurchase this coconut snowflake at all Okay, so this one is the Bourbon Maple from Old Williamsburg, which is probably one of my favorite scents by them. But this one was such a dud burning. Look at that. Like, the entire jar is full. Definitely one I'll take apart and put in a wax warmer because this scent is really good. The throw is really good. And the burn of it on the ones I had tried before were perfectly fine. But this particular one was a dud. I mean, you could see all the black soot in there. Like, I don't know what happened to this one. Definitely uh, not a good candle purchase there. Um, this Winter Candy Apple from Bath & Body Works is pretty good. I received this as a gift. Again, if I get one like this as a gift, I would burn it. Um, this one says the notes are candied apple, crisp pears, and oranges. So it is like very citrusy with a slight little sweet note, um, but not my favorite. It burned okay. Oh, that's funny. There's a piece of onion in there. I keep... Uh, my bag with my empties in my pantry closet and a piece of onion fell in this candle while it was in the bag. Anyways, um, it burns pretty good inside. There's zero wick and you could see like that there um, is still that normal at the bottom, but look at all that soot on the inside. Like that is so, that is so gross. Um, I, I hate that. Like if it, they burn like this, I'll never, I'll make a note to not repurchase these. That's why I like doing these videos because I'll go back and watch these before I go and purchase candles so that I know I don't purchase ones that I don't like. But this, I mean, mm, for Bath and Body Works, definitely not a fan of that one. Uh, this one, however, you guys, is probably one of my all-time favorite Dollar Tree candles. And this is one of the original coffee candles. These are probably almost two years old. They do come back around sometime in the summer. They try and make dupes, but it's not the same. Um, this one is the Ice Caramel Macchiato. It's one of my favorites, this one and the white one. And I just, I mean, they burn amazing. There's almost nothing left in here. This lights my entire floor plan downstairs with my tall ceilings and everything it like smacks you in the face like that cold brew one so definitely love this one i will repurchase that one over and over again uh, so this jar fell and broke, but I had to talk about this candle because this is the watermelon lemonade one that I've never been able to haul from the Dollar Tree because I can't find it, but this is the one that Renee sent to me. She sent me a bunch of them, and this, you guys, is like... Who needs Bath & Body Works when you can buy a watermelon lemonade candle for a dollar and it smell like this. The throw, uh, I burned it in Mason's room uh, while we had guests and company coming and they were staying in there. So I burned it in there and it smelled like the whole, filled the whole room, wafted into the hallway. You smelled it coming up the stairs. Just so, so good. I still cannot find them. Again, I got this as a gift, but if I find them, I will buy every single one the store has and I will ask them to order me more because it is that good. So keep your eye out at the DT. And if you find them let me know i want them please okay guys so here are the end of my candles and then i just have a few not really a few but i have these little tags from the wallflower bulbs just to let you know my favorites i'm sure there's doubles in there and if they are i'll just toss them but that's just what i had loose in the bottom of the bag so just a few of these tiny little ones this i actually picked up i think it was like discounted at rite aid or something after christmas time for just a dollar and it's the jelly belly company candle and this one was a lemon one so i was like oh i gotta try the lemon one i bought one for v i don't know if she ever tried it it burns pretty good i mean you guys can see it isn't really much left it had like okay throw but i wasn't really impressed impressed with that one for the dollar, especially when I know I can get ones at the Dollar Tree that are better. Um, this one always catches my eye because it's so cute. I love this tiny little glass. I usually repurpose these and use them for like juice glasses when we have like brunch or something or we have company over. Um, this one is the Sweet Moscato. Look at that, you guys. The, it's practically empty for me. Uh, this one burned really good. This is Old Williamsburg as well, right? Yeah, there was a couple of them in this wine um, group. They weren't all good. Uh, the Merlot was like, eh. The Zinfandel was uh, a little bit better, but the Sweet Moscato was the best out of all of the wine ones, uh, just because it, obviously it has that sweeter note of smell, but it burns super clean. So when I see these, I usually do scoop them up still. Again, I like the jars and I like uh, the scent of that one. 
Um, this is the only other one I got in that iced tea line, and this is the strawberry lemonade. This one wasn't as good as that berry hibiscus, but it still was uh, good for the buck, and I would repurchase it. Um, you could see it burned pretty clean, not a lot left, but definitely, uh, definitely still enjoyed this candle for the dollar. This candle, you guys, was holy cow. I had been dying to try this. A lot of people had talked about this boardwalk candle and I was dying to try it. The packaging was just cute and summery. The idea of being like at Coney Island or something like I was growing up. The notes on this one say, caramel glazed popcorn, warm taffy apples and salty sweet cream. Everything you would imagine walking through a carnival smelling cotton candy and candied apples and caramel popcorn. It just made you feel like everything about what a carnival would be. And I got all the summer feels with this one burning. I don't know what fell all over the lid. Again, I keep that in the pantry, so something must have leaked on that, which is pretty darn nasty. But um, you can see how clean that it burned. Um, this one pretty much stayed white. It burned all the way down. Oh, I smell that opening the lid, you guys. Holy cow, it just smells so, so, so darn good. This one is so good. Uh, I will repurchase this one over and over again. Definitely up there with one of my favorites. I think out of all of these ones, I probably would put uh, that lemon cello first and then that blueberry maple pancake and then this boardwalk and then the maple cinnamon one. I think that would be my top four of the Bath and Body Works ones that I reviewed for you guys. But this one, holy cow, so delicious. Uh, and then that's it. That's it for those. And then here are these little guys. I always save these ones to show you guys because I literally have wallflowers in every room in my house. Down here in the kitchen and stuff, I have them all over because again, with the big ceilings, sometimes the smaller bulbs, if they're not super potent, you can't even tell that they're being burned down here. Upstairs with the eight foot ceilings and a lot more closed walls, I have one everywhere. In the hallway, every bathroom, every bedroom. Um, down here, it's in the bathroom and then there's two in the living room and two in the kitchen. So I go through a lot of these because they generally burn only for the month. So if I have 10 in the house, then uh, I go through 120 a year. So I definitely go through my bulbs, but I'm all about my scents. I have dogs and kids and boys and I cook in the house. I feel like scent stays. Uh, so I like to, you know, to have it smell good in here. So this one was called First Frost. It was okay. The notes on this were bergamot, sandalwood, and patchouli. When I said First Frost, I was expecting it to be more like evergreen, snowy, kind of wintry scents. And this is more wood. So eh, I probably wouldn't repurchase that one again, but that was okay. Um, this was the iced cran apple. I like anything with apple. Um, this was fresh apple, frosted cranberries, and sugared raspberry. The sugared raspberry added a really good note. They don't often use raspberry in their scents. So this added like a really good extra sweet note. I really liked it. So I would repurchase that one. Uh, Tis the season is one of my favorites. Look at the little red truck, like it just screams that Christmas chime note. So super cute, I love that. So the notes on this one are red delicious apple, sweet cinnamon bark, and cedar wood. And it just smells so good. I normally don't like the woodsy scent, but mixed with the cinnamon and the apple, it just screams Christmas time to me. So I really love that. And I really love winter. Again, I'm not usually about the woodsy scents, but this winter one is so good. Um, so this one is orange and fur needle essential oils with notes of clove. I can't explain this winter one, but even the candle is amazing. So I definitely will repurchase that one. Um, this one is Caramel Apple. I just put this in Maya's room and it smells so good. It's Granny Smith Apple Warm Caramel and Cinnamon Vanilla. Like, so good. Doesn't have to be fall to burn this, although it shows on the packaging that it's fall. It's still perfect for really any time of year. And for a little girl's room, it just smells so sweet and cinnamony, cinnamony in there and I really like that. Uh, this is my uh, all-time favorite scent of Bath & Body Works. Um, normally, I would, this would have kind of tumbled down the line with some of the other ones that I have discovered, but I always seem to go back to the Thousand Wishes. This one is spar Sparkling Champagne, Crystal Peonies, and Almond Cream. Now, I'm not usually one for the floral notes of the peonies, but the champagne and the almond cream, they add that extra sweet note, and it smells like strawberries to me. I can't really, it reminds me of like strawberry shortcake or something when I was a kid. I don't know, I really love that one. 
up here's another winter we did that one this one was eucalyptus mint it was okay fresh eucalyptus sweet spearmint and lemon peel i never spent smelt lemon i didn't even smell the spearmint it just smelled straight up eucalyptus to me which is okay you guys know i buy my eucalyptus when i go to trader joe's every time anyways but i feel like it was a little overpowering i had it in the bathroom i just i don't know i wasn't really a huge fan this one's Marshmallow Fireside. The notes are toasted marshmallows, smoldering woods, and warm vanilla. A uh, very common candle. I get it sometimes. I don't really care for it. It's not my favorite. Um, I usually, if I buy this one, I usually send it to Leanne. This is one of her favorites, but I don't, the smoldering woods and stuff, I don't, again, usually like that woodsy stuff. Um, if the marshmallow doesn't come through so much, then I don't really like it, but it was good around Christmas time. I put it in the downstairs bathroom and I felt like, I don't know, it made us like feel part of the season. Here's Frosted Cranberry. This one's Ice Cranberries, Blonde, Woods, and Red Apple. I don't really smell the apple. I just more smell the cranberry. This one's good. I like it better in a candle than I do a bulb, um, but I got this one as a gift and I still would use it. It's still good, um, just not my favorite. This one was delicious. This was Frosted Cake Pop, and it was buttercream icing, warm vanilla, and juicy cherries. I don't know. The cherries didn't smell cherry cherry to me, like that cough syrup thing. It was just a light fruity note to the warm vanilla and that buttercream icing, that sweet sugary smell. Holy cow, this one was really good. I actually wish I put that one in my room and I had not, but I wish I did. Um, here's the spiced apple toddy. This one's warm apple brandy, cranberry, and cinnamon stick. Very Christmassy. I have it in a candle and I actually returned it um, because it's a little too like spicy, if that makes any sense, when it's burning. But as a bulb, it's a little bit more subdued and so I don't mind it. Um, so I would use this in a bulb again, but I'm not a fan of the candle. Um, this one's salted caramel. I just put this in the kids' bathroom upstairs. It's salted caramel, caramelized sugar, and spiced rum. And I, this is like strong enough to hide boy smell, which was so good because the kids enjoy going in there. They like sniff the air like they're eating cupcakes or cinnamon buns or something like when they go in there. But this one is just sweet enough that it just takes away all of that nasty boy, um, which I like that. I feel like when I do the woodsy ones, it just like encompasses boy and then it still smells like mm, dirty man in there but something like this just kind of like adds a sweet note to that like nasty boys bathroom so I like that one in there for sure um, this one was mahogany apple this one surprised me because I don't normally do the mahogany again that's usually like that woodsy kind of scent um, so the notes on this one are the mahogany woods golden apple and lavender sprigs but I like anything apple and the apple note really came through on this and the mahogany and the lavender was kind of subtle so I really um, I enjoyed it a lot so definitely would get this one again definitely surprised me and then all right champagne toast is what's burning in the bathroom down here right now and this one is bubbly champagne sparkling berries and juicy tangerine this one is dynamite you guys like so 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 good this is probably one of my favorite candles to burn it's one of my favorite um body sprays because it's sweet you get that tangerine and that like sparkling champagne and i actually love the way it smells and stays on my skin this is one of my favorite scents like in everything so definitely try champagne toast if you have not and that is it guys that's it for this time's candle empties so here we are back at the same spot to close out today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed my candle review. You guys know how I feel about my candles. I definitely had some surprise ones from the Dollar Tree. They kind of snuck in on me, but definitely established some real new favorites from Bath & Body Works. So that was really exciting. Stay tuned, not tomorrow, but the next day, you guys will get my household products. And then we're also going to do exactly what I do inside of my laundry routine, because you guys are always asking for that. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.